Hey folks, how you doing? Dern D here, and you're saying, holy crap, Dern D is playing Stellaris. So, what happened? It's been a long time, and yes, it has been a long time. I'll get into details why it's been a long time as uh, I play through the next half hour or so. But, uh, I did see that, uh, you know, there, there's a newer version of Stellaris out now. The uh, Humanoids uh, pack came out a while back, and uh, it had been so long since I picked up and played Stellaris for various reasons. So I, I was looking for something to do, I said, you know what, It's it's been so long since I played Stellaris, let's start up Stellaris, and let's start a new series. And we haven't played Vanilla in a while, I've been playing, uh, when I was playing, I was playing mostly uh, the New Horizons mod, which is a great Star Trek mod, but uh, no, it's been a while since I played Vanilla Stellaris, so... Uh, let, let's do that. So, they do have the uh, Humanoid pack out now. Also, the Synthetic Dawn pack came out uh, while I was on hiatus there. Uh, I'm just scrolling through to see who we have. So, uh, yeah, with the Humanoid pack, why not take these guys? They're the uh, Vor Technocracy. Uh, they're Victorial. Uh, they are a technocracy, which means they have research alternatives. They're environmentalists, though. They love technology, but they also love the environment. Gotta love that. Consumer good costs go down. Uh, let's see. Monthly influence goes up. Slave resources goes up. So they are a bit of a slaver. Okay. There are some material materialists. Meaning robot upkeep goes down. Research speed goes up. Things I like. They do hyperspace travel. Uh, they're, uh, they are quick learners. They're adaptive. And they're also repugnant. Other species don't like them that much. Are they that repugnant? They have a very handsome, strong chin there. And also very full lips, if you're into that. Me, not so much. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's let's take the Vores here, so we'll select these folks. Uh, all right, so let's go with a medium galaxy. Electrical galaxy sounds cool. Uh, AI empires, all that seems a fine. Crisis strength, I think that's a new option. Aggressiveness, we'll keep everything on normal. Difficulty, yeah, we'll, we'll go for hard. Why is this not available for achievements? Oh, it requires Iron Man mode. Excuse me, princess. Fine, we'll turn it on. Look, look, look at me. I'm probably gonna lose, but uh, anyway. Also, uh, yeah, we'll make everybody use the same FTL method. That way things don't get uh, too crazy. Also, the hyperdrive method I do like a little bit because it lets you to set up uh, choke points and stuff like this. A little bit more strategic is hyperdrive, right? Yes. Wormhole is that. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Had to think about my sci-fi uh, history a little bit there. All right, so we're going to hit the old play button. We'll start a uh, new game, and uh, we'll see what... Uh, Version 1.9 gives us, like I said, it's been three or four months, I guess, since I played, so I'm probably in for a few new things, uh, maybe some new events and stuff. I completely missed the Synthetic Dawn uh, update, um, so I, I'm not sure if there are any new events or anything with that. But anyway, here we go, the Vore technology, <clears throat> here we go. In the eon, since the first hyperdrive or since the first primitive Vore communities took shape on the snow fields and ice caves of Hyrian, our civilization has spread and prospered. The birth of science and rational thought necessitated the removal of those political leaders who impeded technological progress through ignorance, superstition, sheer stupidity, or a combination of the three. Instead, a single qualified ruler from the scientific community would be chosen to guide our developing nation into the future. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the Vor Technocracy have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. All right. So, uh, it's been a while, so it might take me a little, a little bit to <laughs> get back into the swing of things. Let's set up our research first. Uh, let's see, we got the solar panel network. Uh, we have fusion power. Solar panels. Uh, let's let's. We seem to be a, a science-based group, so let's let's push science a little bit. Uh, Japra, what we got for Japra here? Society, uh, naval capacity. I could see that being important early on. And for engineering here, um, I always like the power deck skill, but starting off to get that uh, little bit of that mineral boost. 
So we gotta get our assigned ship. Assigned ship has to survey the system. And uh, let's let's take a look now at uh, what we're facing. So we are at this uh, right-hand edge of the galaxy. A um, couple choke points we could... Well, we, we are basically a choke point in ourselves within... So uh, I wonder if there's anybody down here or up there. We'll have to see. Uh, for exploration, I think I'm going to head down this way, see if we can, uh, you know, set up basically a barrier, maybe in this region of space. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at our home world. Uh, no edicts. That's fine. Let's check out the surface. So we are a slaving race. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Slaves won't be producing so much. Also, they're going to be super unhappy about being slaves. Can't say I blame them. Uh, we got a mineral tile there worth two, so we'll probably uh, hit that up starting off. Okay. And what else we got on the go? That's about it for now. We just have to wait for our sign ship to do the exploration that it needs to do. And maybe we can start uh, exploiting some resources with our construction ship. There are a few planetoids within the system here, so maybe we'll get some nice stuff to get ourselves to start start off. Uh, also, Admiral. Gotta, gotta put in Admiral. One of the things I fail to do sometimes to start the game, combat speed, weapons range, which is pretty good. Fire rate, fire rate seems like a good trait. You're 47, I'm assuming these guys live about the same length as humans. I didn't see any long-lived or short-lived traits, so we'll, uh, we'll go under that assumption for now. You know what they say about assumptions? You shouldn't make them. You can make bad decisions if you just go entirely on assumptions. So I'm going to speed things up. Whoa! Even forgot how to do that. It's been so long since I played. Uh, do I want to build, like, another ship, maybe? How much are Corvettes? They're worth a hundred? Uh, yeah, let, let's build one more. Uh, just to, just to have it. Just in case pirates show up. I'm a bit paranoid about pirates in these uh, 4X games. Space pirates. Um, they show up in Stellaris. They show up in the Stellaris mods. Whoa! Got some flashbacks there to, uh, to StarCraft. I th thought they were going to tell me that I was going to need some more... Uh, what, what, what's it need? what do you need to build when you're, when you're the Protoss? Uh, those crystal things. Pylons, yeah, must construct additional pylons. That type of uh, that type of voice. Maybe that's what they're going for. The design of these guys, kind of technological dudes. Bigger lips than the Protoss, though. Much bigger lips. Um, okay, so we're not discovering that much in system here for resources. Not a hell of a lot, actually. Um, I do want to set up my sign ship to check out these systems afterwards. Oh, there are three energy here. Okay. Uh, construction ship. And we will get to work building a mining station there. And our world. Let's take a look now at our surface. So this guy's coming in. It's going to be a slave. Uh, how fast are we growing? We're growing at 1.10 a month. Uh, we'll hold off on building a mine for a little bit, at least until he's closer to coming online, so we're not uh, we're not wasting energy on a building that uh, that doesn't exist. We won't worry about clearing off any of these tiles yet. Plenty of food. Building online. Uh, okay, the mining station has been built. That's good. Any more resources? Oh, uh, one of our scientists is leveled up. Good. Level two. Of course, we're playing on super fast uh, right at the start of the game because it takes a while for Stellaris to spool up. I mentioned this in all the, my Stellaris videos. It's system scan complete. It's, it's a little while getting getting warmed up, uh, but uh, when you get fleets and armies and stuff like that going, uh, you know, it becomes a little bit more uh, hands-on, and you got to start slowing things down. Oh, there is a potentially habitable world that uh, that shade of orange. I'm not sure if I've seen that before. It used to be either. Uh, I think it was yellow if it was potentially habitable before. Um, okay, so there's still a way. 
So that's fine. There's uh, there's some energy up here. Unfortunately, it's not a part of our uh, empire, so I should actually check out systems that are a part of my empire. And the only system that is is this one. So uh, I'm actually going to ignore the rest of this system for now until we have this system surveyed because we can't we can't build anything in any, any of these systems unless I build. Um, Whatchamacallits, Frontier Outposts, and I'm not sure I want to do that at this point. I mean, there are potentially habitable worlds in these systems, so I may send out some colony ships after a while, speaking of which, uh, it's going to be a while before we do that. That's the society thing? Terraform, not so, yeah, I got a survey it before. Uh, let, let's see, let's see, uh, spaceport. Colony ship. Apparently, I'm lacking five or you need five hundred minerals, and I am lacking eighty-two of those. Sixty-six now. Maybe I can build one. We'll see. Uh, there are some s things to exploit in this system, so we will send our construction ship out to get started on that. And uh, you know what? I'm going to build. Another Corvette. It seems like five or six Corvettes are usually enough to take on any early tr uh, pirate system scan thing. Complete. All right, that system's been scanned. Let's head back and uh, let's scan this system, and then we'll wrap up with this system. Uh, unfortunately, no planet in that system, but uh, th this system right here—it's kind of a linchpin because unless you're coming like around this way, then that's the only way into our empire. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, so these guys are building how's the planet doing discovery of alien life. We may not be alone. I get the feeling we're not uh, All right, this guy's almost ready to go. So We're gonna get him to work in the old mines Nothing like so oh, there is a habitable world here, okay um, Thing is uh, We are Quite a ways away now from 500 minerals because we have been building things. So we may have to save up for that. There's an anomaly there, so we'll check that out. Kajibus! Sounds like, uh, I don't know, cabbage system. My cabbages! Joint expedition. So they're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. You're building. And we have our new tradition. Um, what do we want to do? Discovery we are. Research. Research points. Expansion, maybe? Let's go for expansion. This type of civilization seems like they would want to expand into the stars. Atmospheric ecosystems. Bit of society in that system. If we get things uh, built up there, five hundred for a colony ship—that seems like a lot. Has that changed in the past, or has it always been that expensive? I can't recall. Another scientist has leveled up. We haven't even hit our first little bit of science yet. Seems like the first bit of technology seems to take twelve months, but uh, it feels like they've, they've slowed that down a bit. I, I don't know. Like I said, it's been so long. Okay, so that system's been surveyed. Uh, well... Yeah, we definitely want to hit you up. Get the society. Oh, it's not within our borders. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so we'll leave the construction ship there for now. Uh, science. We have our mine online. And we have some energy coming in. Uh, in a bit here. Alright, so our naval capacity is up. That's good. That's good. We're a ways from actually maxing out that, but... Uh, army upkeep goes down. Orbital hydroponics farm. Uh, you know what? Let's let's take the early, uh, early naval capacity. Let's get that boosted a little bit. Maybe we can... I, I, I could see us enslaving some uh, lesser races if we encounter them, so... Let's keep an eye out for that if there's any planets with, uh, you know, primitives or anything like that, since... 
missed out a, a little bit of that, I think, when I was playing playing the Star Trek mod, which uh, they are working on a, a major mod for the Dominion right now, and, and I think it's in kind of the beta stage. I think some of the other Star Trek New Horizons Let's Players have had been given access to it, but I've been off the map so long that uh, I'm not quite sure what the deal is. I just know it hasn't been released to the uh, the general public, and Systems I don't have access complete. to it either. Uh, survey. Okay, so that's been surveyed, but it's not within our borders, so we're not going to be doing anything there. But we will check out the system. Okay. Uh, so we are getting close enough to build a colony ship. So we probably will build a colony ship to send up to New this system. Uh, physics lab one done. Yes. Uh, blue lasers. Research speed. Uh, I do like trying to stack that early research if I can. Uh, might put us a little bit behind the ball in terms of uh, having the most powerful fleet in the universe, but we can we can make up for that. Uh, okay. So there are some minerals in that system. Still don't have access to what's in this system. And uh, how fast are you guys going? Star assembly? Oh, precursors change. Also, we could upgrade our science lab if we wanted to. But I want to build me a colony ship. We like the Arctic world, saying that's pretty cool. Uh, pu -pu -pu empty tile right here. Yes. I want to call this Optimus Prime, but I'll I'll leave it as is. <laughs> uh, all right, so that has uh, basically wiped out our, our mineral supply for now. Anomaly uh, oh, we do have an anomaly. Okay, let's check that out. Also, once uh, we do our colonization, we're going to be able to exploit the resources in that system, which will be nice. Which will be very nice, indeed. Uh, surface here. Still a long while before we can do anything with you. But we can do that upgrade. Uh, what do we need for that? Upgrade. New technology discovered. Fascinating. Situation log updated. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let's check out our technology. Okay, so we get uh, some more minerals when our army damage goes up. Uh, let's see, we could upgrade our mines. I like the idea of doing that. Okay. Uh, so what did it, what was I trying to do? I was trying to, yeah, do this upgrade to a physics lab, because it is a physics-based tile. There are a couple other physics uh, tiles. Well, there's one there. There's an engineering one there. And we'll do the Habitable World Survey, which we've seen a billion times before. Or at least ten. I'm pretty sure I've done at least ten different Let's Plays. I don't think I've finished any of them, but... Well, the ones that are, are obviously going to lose, but uh, that's about it. Are you guys still working on your colony ship? Um, system scan complete. Okay, that system's been scanned. Like I said, I want to... I want to try to get a sense to... See if there's anything down in this corner. I'd like to like to control that if I could. I like the idea of not being surrounded. Like the idea of this bit of space being uh, like this is almost like a space wall. You know, nobody nobody can get across. We'll see though. We'll see. Virtual reality center. Okay, Situation there's normal the complex there. Uh, you guys are still busy building. Building online. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit more physics now. Um, I feel like we're safe enough to build this power plant now. Let's do that. Clear this tile. It's the Antares system. There are couple minerals down there. There's four minerals up in this system. That interests me. Also, there's a uh, potentially half of a world here. It's a large one. Not a heck of a lot for concentrated resources, but uh, you know, if we we do the whole planet, it'll be a nice nice boon to us. So, um, Actually, if I sent the colony ship anywhere, it should have been up here first. Because uh, that would have expanded our borders enough to take in this system as well. Okay, we've met our first set of aliens 
Uh, t t the Alpha Aliens, uh, they have a fleet size of... Okay, they're space whales. Um, please don't blow up my colony ship. I'm hoping they're peaceful space whales. Establishing colony. It's a great day for the uh, Technocracy, and I also unlocked an achievement for the first time in my life because I guess it's the first time I've ever played on Iron Man mode. I don't know why I haven't in the past. Um, I guess the uncomfortable having uncomfortable idea of having a single save game didn't sit well with me or something. Just in case something went wrong with the save games. I don't know. Uh, well, we can send our construction ship up here now to build a research station. And, okay, so that's been built, but we just need the population to start working it. And uh, energy a little bit low right now because we do have that colonization effort underway. Research, it's a ways away for uh, pretty much all the technologies, but that's fine. That is fine. Yeah, we're definitely going to colonize over here next. Uh, also, Unity, when's, when's our next thing? 27 months away. It's not too bad. Uh, we will get a nice society boost here once that's been built. Anomaly detected. Uh, it's an impact crater down there. There is an arid world. Arid worlds apparently are not our fourth day. Uh, 23, 19, and 58. Space whales have gone off. They don't need no freaking space lanes. But that's okay, because they're special space whales. I forgive them. Failure! Oh well. Can't win them all, I suppose. A little bit of border creep going on. We almost have access to this system. Not quite, though. Not quite. All right, anything else we want to do here? Not yet. System uh, I would like to actually clear off these slums and possibly my next population. I'll get them to work uh, that two energy tile. Okay. It's a rule system. They have some awesome rules there. For example, you have your choice of desserts after every meal. It's your choice too if you want to eat those desserts. You don't need to have dessert with every meal. Sometimes you gotta watch that old waistline. Alright, so. That is. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay. So, we will wait for these folks to spawn and we will build ourselves a uh, power plant. There, that's our next step. Uh. Our Admiral has gained a trait. Good for them. Good for them. It's nice to see a little bit of self-improvement. Taking the initiative. You know, doing some night classes, stuff like that. Gotta do that. Self-improvement. You know, take some programming courses. Maybe learn a new language. Do some research about a spot you want to travel to. Even if you have no means of going there. Sometimes it's cool to just check it out. Say, hey, you know, if I went to, uh, went to Norway... I'd, I'd like to go uh, go here, here, and here. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. I mean, pick a spot where you n normally wouldn't go and pop yourself down there in Google Earth and take a walk around the city, see the sights. Okay, science ship. System surveyed. Okay. Oh, we are uh, we're over 500 minerals again, so we'll drop another colonization ship down. I'm gonna put them right here. Okay. Like I said, when that calling gets going, that's gonna actually is this within our system now? No. Okay. Thought it might be. But that's okay. But this is? No, it's not claimed yet. Alright, alright, Pearl Construction Ship has uh, hasn't had uh, much to do. How much uh, till we can upgrade our mines? 16 months, uh, 8 months till just basic research speed goes up 5%. That'll be nice too. Still not within our system. I'm, I'm seeing that border creep, but it's not creeping as much as I'd like. Six minerals down here as well. Let's, let's take a look. 
Oh, it's uh, concentrated four there. That is nice. That is very nice indeed. Uh, so we are limited to three systems starting off, unless we start setting up uh, sectors, stuff like that. We've conquered another world. Okay. The, another world? This, this is like... I suppose if we consider the first world that we started off with. Uh, so we already have a governor? Do they auto-assign governors to world now? Is that how this works? Do we have a governor here? Like on our home planet? Merg? Let's take a look at our leaders. Leaders. He's in the core sector. Okay. So is Merg also the governor here? Merg? Okay, he's ruling from another planet. Interesting. Okay, so that's that's a bit of a new thing. That is a bit of a new thing. Let's check out the surface here. They're starting off with their slaves working in the mines. Okay. Okay, I can roll with that. I can roll with that. I'll let those uh, pops, uh, you know, grow a bit before I, I build the actual things because I'd like to do a little bit more space development if I could. All right, let's. Uh, here's my thought. I'm gonna I'm gonna build this first because th those two energy are going to finance the two energy that I need to run the mine here. I don't want to I don't want to burn through all my energy. System scan complete. Uh, scan complete. Okay. So what what is what do we have down here? Two minerals. Not a heck of a lot. All right. Let's uh, let's get our science ship to kind of finish out the circuit here. So we'll get this this little pattern going on, and then then I'm gonna get you to to go home after that. So that should keep you busy for a while. Unless there is a, uh, in fact, an empire down here, and the entire thing will be for moot. Uh, yeah, again, not going to build anything until they're a bit closer. Uh, what, what's going to be our next tile here? Um, it's more physics there. I like to push that. New technology discovered. Any more? There's energy here. I'd like to continue to push energy as well. Uh, research speed plus five percent across the board. I like that. And, uh, yeah, I will go for the power plant upgrade. It's going to take us 44 months. Eight months so we can start upgrading our mines as well. I don't think we have that many, though. Uh, we have one there, one there, one, three. Okay. All right. Uh, construction ship. You're there. And then I'm going to get you to come down here afterwards. So we're at plus seven for energy now, so that's going to bring us to five. Got to think about that as well. Don't want to, don't want to burn through all the energy before I'm done, or I've even gotten started, let alone being done. Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh, new tradition. What are we going to take? Uh, ta -ta. Frontier outpost cows being half. Ta -ta -ta. Capital buildings produce. Additionally, unity. Okay. Let's do that. Because when we establish the... Anomaly detected. Capital buildings on each of those planets, it's going to give us a little bit more unity, which will kind of offset the cost of... our growing cost of unity expansions. Establishing colony. That sentence makes sense to anybody? Building I'm online. guessing no. Okay. All right. Uh, so... We want to get you. Also, we have this being colonized right now, so that's hurting us, right? Yes. Yeah, we're losing eight energy. Uh, gain full survey data on a, sis a distant system. What system did we get? That one, I guess. So it seems like this area of space is, is open. Now the question is if if there's like a free planet down here. That's uh, that's the big question. All right, so you guys, uh, you're getting close to to being baked here. So uh, we'll build the basic mine there. Uh, also, you guys, you're getting close to being completely done. System so we will get that. All right. Building online. 
All right, stuff's happening quicker and quicker now, so uh, might have to start thinking about slowing things down in a little bit. What's up there? Not looking like there's any planets around to colonize down here, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, you know, if there's some good resources, I could set up a frontier outpost maybe here or here. We can upgrade our mines. Uh, engineering upgrades? Yes, let's do that next. Okay. Building online. All right, uh, plus six, so we should be fine to continue to build, so we will build a mining station down here. It's going to give us an additional three minerals a month, which is good. That'll get us snowballing a little bit. Uh, I do want to think about expanding my fleet at some point, too. All right, so you're, you've been built. Uh, we can start upgrading these mines. So we'll work on that. For the next little while. Cost us 90 for each one of those. And therefore it takes like 90 months to pay off each one of those upgrades, but you gotta you gotta spend money to make money. That's that's how it's done. That's how it's done. So they tell me. So they tell me. I don't like spending money, so that's why I don't make that much money, I guess. Uh, research. Yeah, check out the anomaly. That's why I like Stellaris, the early game. You got these anomalies and stuff. Gives you a nice, nice space exploration feel. Building uh, online. Uh, building has been online. Okay. Uh, so, we have exploited everything in space that we can exploit right now. So, the next, next little bit's going to be kind of building up our planets and uh, our colonies here. Uh, all right, so we can upgrade this one next. So this this planet, it's basically going to have its its arms full for the next while. It's a gigantic skeleton. Where is that? It's on. It's in this system. So these these systems don't show now if there's a uh, if there's a special project unless you highlight them. That's different. Uh, naval capacity has been upgraded again. Monthly influence. Growth speed. I like the idea of us getting growth speed going. Okay. Space whales still hanging around. You know, as long as they, uh, they keep to themselves, I got no issue with that. Uh, yeah, like I said, I want to exploit this tile next. Just to get that energy back up. Alright, so this mine is going. Uh, food. Food could be an issue. Okay. So in that case, we'll move you over there. Uh, I do, I'd rather have the mineral from that tile, so I, I'm just going to focus on maybe these two tiles next, just to get a little bit of food production going. And that frees up our, our home planet, too, from food production, so, um, you know, that that's going to gonna let us grow. I mean, we, we have a nice supply of food right now, so we don't have to worry about that for the next while, at least. Uh, six minerals down in that system. That is, uh, that's almost enough to put a frontier outpost down. Am I going to do that? Apparently I'm energetic. I guess I've gained, a th I have a thousand energy credits, so that's the reason why I'm energetic. I guess, I guess. Our colony is almost done here. Yeah, so it looks like, uh... Colony founded. It looks like you don't have to set up um, individual governors for the first few planets you colonize now, which is which is great. But that means that uh, we're going to have to go into sectorhood very shortly, especially if we want to uh, expand. Okay. So food's at zero right now. Uh, you have yeah. There's a two food tile right there. Makes sense to get you to work on that. So if you're doing a food two food tile. See, I don't want the slaves to be working System scan complete. for research, because they suck at research. Generally, if you're worried about, uh, you know, getting getting whipped, um, it's not, not, really, not really good for the old focus, uh, from what I understand. Okay, so there are some uh, hostile aliens down there, and they have a huge old space navy there. Um, 
So uh, hopefully our Building online. our ship is going to just uh, just bugger off here. Just uh, you know, just get out of there. Yeah, just just taking off. You know, uh, and it's going to rethink how he's approaching the universe. Uh, unfortunately, there's a potentially habitable world there, and that that's kind of like right where I'd like to be. So I will have to think about that actually. Oh, again. Uh, all right, and and there's even stronger aliens there. Okay. Uh, what's our fleet strength right now? 164. So we're not even close to being able to help out those folks. Okay. All right. So we will get a farm going there. Uh, all right. This system. So, like I said, I'm. Now these are not slaves, so it would probably be better to have our slaves working like the mining stuff. We're doing okay for energy, we're doing good for minerals, so yeah, we will set up a science lab there. I am building it a lot earlier than what I would normally build it, but I am kind of... You guys are slaves, yeah. Well, let's let's get the food situation sorted. Okay. I mean, I, I could set up a something in the rule system. Um, I, I feel like I should expand my fleet, though. All right. So, uh, in that case, uh, we can build six of these. And that should be good for a while. Uh, I'd almost like... Order. I, I need to check out this system. Titanic life. Proceed with the study. Our sign ships all the way back there. Okay. Building online. I guess. Uh, yeah. Ran into those aliens. It's like, screw that. Not heading down that way anymore. Could build some more spaceports too, but I don't think I'm gonna. So that's going to go. Well, we're going to want to upgrade this to actual physics lab. So let's do that. Get that up and running. Uh, potentially have a world over here. Uh, I would like to colonize here as well because this also would be like a choke point to uh, down in this area. Okay. Got to start looking at uh, technologies too that upgrade our, our fleet strength, like our overall shooty shooty power. So uh, we'll be taking a look for that over the next little while. Okay, they have scanning. It's a large planet, size twenty three. New technology discovered. New technology. Our plant two is ready. Blue lasers. Yeah, I think we got to go for that. And with that, you know, I'm going to end things off there. Uh, hey. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, think about liking the video. Think about subscribing to the channel. See you next time. Take care. Have yourself a great day.